we begin with that breaking news. The stretch of I-96 near Fowlerville, where that deadly 40-car pileup happened, is now back open. But there is new concern tonight for more slick roads. We have Team 7 coverage, Hallie Vogel, tracking the new threat for black ice. Brianne Palmerini with what road crews are doing right now. We're going to begin with 7 Action News reporter, though, Aaron Baskerville in Fowlerville with new stories of heroism. Things are getting back to normal out here on I-96 near Fowlerville after that deadly accident. Three people were killed. Many more were trapped inside their vehicles. It was a busy, busy day for first responders. You got to uh, give them credit for uh, the fast response of uh, what they did. Uh, definitely those are the heroes. A salute to first responders. Some remained on scene tonight nearly 10 hours after the deadly accident. They hauled away some of the mangled mess left behind when 40 vehicles lost control near Fowlerville on westbound I-96. You don't see many incidents like that around here, but uh, today was our turn. Fowlerville Fire Chief John Wright, on the job for 47 years, tells Action News he believes it's the worst accident ever in his jurisdiction and scoffs at the idea of being called a hero. I'm not here for the glory. You don't, you don't, don't uh, it's just it's nice to know that you go out and you help your community, do things for your community. You're helping people out there that need your help. And when it's all over with, you know, if, if you've saved a life or done something, you feel good about it when you go home. Exclusive dash cam video from a truck involved in the chain reaction crash shows how quickly the accident snuck up on drivers. Investigators are blaming slick roads and whiteout conditions for the pileup. More than 18 agencies rushed to the area after the call came out around 10 this morning. For most of the night, the action focused on removing debris so drivers could once again use the westbound lanes. Life is uh, really fragile and it makes you appreciate that, um, you know, every day that, that you have. We're told 11 others were also injured in this deadly accident. They were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Near Fowlerville, Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. Road crews.